Hello, 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 viewers around the world. Now, nostalgia is go coming live to your screen. We are live and we are straight to your face with this beautiful program that brings back global legends, um, divas, and a human being that really did a lot to the creative world. Today, we are back with it again, uh, Nostalgia Series 11. This is our 11th series, and uh, I'm happy to have with me again my brother and friend, Dr. Sita. Dr. Sita, welcome to Nostalgia Episode Series 11. You're welcome, sir. Nostalgia. Nostalgia. Thank you, sir. Thank yes. you so very much. I'm proud to be here. Yes, and I'm happy. I, I look forward to this program because uh, your lineup is fantastic. The best yes. three ever in one place. Yes. Thank mm. you, sir. Mm. Best three ever. Great. So we're looking yes. at, a, um, we're, we're going back in time. We're rolling the machine back in time. There's a man called Rex Lawson. A lot of people know them. I, listen, I know you, you're going to give me a lot on this one because you you come in that time you know I, i'm a little bit not in that space but i knew rec lossin through my parents we had the you know remember those days my father my, my father was was his friend and he told us stories about him rex lossin my father was rex lossin's friend yes good so we're looking at rex lossin rex lossin was a Nigerian man, full name, Rex Jim Lawson. Rex Jim Lawson. Rex Jim Lawson was actually born Eric Yusame Lawson, known as Cardinal Rawson, Lawson. And uh, Rex Lawson was a singer. He was a trumpeter and a band leader with, from Bogoma. Bogoma is a tribe in Nigeria. Bogoma. He became one of the best known high life musician in the 60s, 1960s in Africa. And his band dominated the Nigerian high life scene for a, a period of time. Rex Lawson came from the Calabari uh, uh, tribe. The father was a chief from Calabari and the mother was a, 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 uh, an Igbo woman from Owere, Igbo state, southeast of Nigeria. Rex Lawson, his name, Eric Sema translates to do not name this one. I don't know what that means, but that, that's a strange meaning of that name. So Rex Lawson was the fourth child to his parents. Um, the other ones died due to illness at a very tender age. Rex Lawson also was inflicted with uh, what was common then, smallpox. And uh, while his mother brought, him, brought medicine and different things to try to treat him, the father feared that he would die, and the father thereby lost interest in raising Rex Lawson. So Re Rex Lawson later sued the father for neglect while he was in school, and he won the case. Um, but we don't know what happened with that. He began his career in Port Harcourt as a band boy for the Lord Edison Melodious Orchestra Group. He later played with uh, a lot of people, um, Sam Obot, Bobby Benson, Victor Laya, Chris Ajilo and uh, Ghanaian Nigerian musicians and many bands. Uh, his greatest success came as a leader of the major band called the River Main in uh, the later years. And they had some beautiful songs, Yellow CC, Go One Special, Jolly Papa. Jolly Papa, I know that one very well. Jolly Papa. By 1965. Jolly Papa, why did you? Oh, dear. By 1965, Rex Lawson had written 100 songs. Wow. In July 1970, he traveled to the UK where he also recorded more, more albums, recorded more albums. Rex was in London recording albums. Rex Lawson was um, a highly emotional and deep musician, and he was known to weep sometimes, shed tears while singing songs on stage. Mm. While singing songs, he will cry. Um, the uh, Bobby Benson, Victor Waifo, uh, all remembers Lex during their time, remembered him as a musician that was very emotional. Rick Lawson's fame 
grew very fast. His musical vision, talent, and perseverance took him very far. Uh, he was able, also able to sing in many different dialects. He sang in Calabari, Nembe, Ijo, Ibo, Robo, Ibibio, Efik. He even sang in Cameroon language and in Ghana language too, three. And uh, his band played role in make, bringing the High Life song to, to Lamlight in Africa. Sadly, Rick Lawson died on January 1971 in a car accident along the Asaba Bini Road while he was going for a performance. He was 36 years old, pretty young age to die. Uh, after his death, the band continued anyway, and um, Rex was gone, though. Rex Lawson was gone. Rex Lawson married uh, Virginia Rex Lawson, who also died in uh, 20, 2008. Rick Lawson. Before we uh, go on, let, let's listen to this uh, this number by Rick Lawson. Let's listen to this. <laughs> Dr. Sita, listening to that 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 jam, that, that this groove, took me back. Okay, yeah. Sita, Rex, give it to me, Rex. Yes, sir. Lawson. Yes, sir. He, he just brought a picture of uh, Cardinal Rex Jim Lawson to me. One man, one stage, trumpet, white handkerchief, and then he had his voice and his stagecraft. Amazing man. Amazing man. This man amazed all of us when, after singing in Ibibio, Robo, and Epic, he sang in Lingala. That's, that's, the, that's the language of about, a, of about um, hmm, let me say, one third of Cameroonians. And how he learned that language, nobody knew. And then he sang in Chui. 
and Sanj and Fante. These are two languages that you, that, that you get in Ghana. Uh, you know, you, you, you keep wondering, how did, this, how did this creativity come? You know, how did this man become superstar below 40? The man died before he was 40. He was a fast firewood in the likes of, uh, of uh, Jimi oh, Hendrix, in the likes of uh, uh, Michael. In the, you know, say anything you like about him. He was number one in the music scene and everybody looked up to him. You know, any time I featured, uh, uh, you know, uh, Jim Lawson on, on my program, I played him first. Any other musician followed because that that was the order. It was reverence, it was respect, it was recognition. I had to do it because that was he was he was Mr. Beginner. You know, he was the way sure. His high life music became the signature tune for everybody. Some programs on my station then, if they didn't play uh, Rex Jim Lawson. They, they, they've not played any, any music at all. So what, what we did then was to show him full respect because high life had a meaning that he brought to. You know, uh, Nigerian high life music was everything Rex Jim Lawson. He was a cardinal man. And um, his songs were like uh, uh, our Bible verses in music. Whatever he said in his music, we copied and then we replayed everywhere. That was the man with the trumpet. And may his soul rest in perfect peace because he lives on. Mm. Wonderful. Wonderful. May his soul rest in perfect peace because he lives on. Thank you very much. So that was Rex yes. Lawson. Um, what what I, I would want to ask uh, uh, Dr. Sita is are there any legacy? Are there any. Um, 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 things that, that still have reference to him in Nigeria today? Do we have museum or uh, relics, archives, and things that uh, we could trace to that route? Do you know about that? Yeah, there... yeah, yeah. For those of us who knew his family, I remember Madame Regina Lawson, the wife, you know, we used to visit with her at some point. And then mm -hmm. um, as, as somebody from Delta State, you know, I was, I was from Bendel. We remembered him every year because um, he died in our state. It was like an honor, but you know, dying, dying is not something that uh, that you that you that you claim it to be an honor. But when he died, and we we knew he was that young, I think he was thirty five or thirty six then. We, you know, we honored him every year because at the point of death in nineteen seventy one, you, you know. The war just ended, and uh, one year after, he, he survived the war. He started playing again, all over again in January after the war. And then, you know, you know, he lit his world all over again. Wife for, um, I remember Bobby Benson. Um, I remember Victor Laya. I remember one or two others. You know, they had, they, you know, they had a season of of mourning for him. And we, and we mm -hmm. followed, because if you were a broadcaster then, if you were a music scene then, there was something unique about, about uh, Lawson. He led his band with respect, you know, and he, he, he saw music as good business, because internationally, you know, he was also recognized, even at that age. You know, Lawson was very unique. His legacy was good music, and that good music was led into money for him. Wow. Thank you very much. Good music translated to money for him. Yes, nostalgia. Nostalgia looks back at Rex Lawson, Victor Efusa, Waifo, and Sonny Okoso. So uh, I'm breaking up the ice before the time. Now we come to Sonny Okoso. Uh, sorry, now we come to Victor Efusa, Waifo. Um, let, let's change the style. Let's let's listen to him while we uh, before we we come to him. Victor Efosa Waifo. Thank you. Oh, sorry. Oh, 
very much. That, that was Victor Efosa Waifo. Victor Waifo was, yes, Dr. Sita, are you there? Victor Waifo, born 1941. Uh, sadly passed away last year. We we celebrated his um, his passing away. We uh, remembered him. Was a Nigerian musician, writer, sculptor, musical instrument inventor, and a university lecturer, music legend, and the first honorable commissioner for arts and culture and tourism in Nigeria. Victor Waifu was also the winner of the first gold dicks in Africa, first gold ticks. Now that's, that's a very um, unique um, uh, uh, award. And it was for the song Joromi. Joromi was released in 1965 and seven other gold ticks for Guitar Boy. Guitar Boy, if you see Mami Wotaro. And uh, like the one we just saw, the Ekese series songs, the uh, Akwete music, and uh, he recorded under the name Victor Waifo and the Titi Bitis. How do you pronounce that? Titi Bitis, right? Titi Bitis. Titi Bitis. Titi Bitis. Titi Bitis. Yes. yes. Waifo was born in Benin City, Titi Bitis. Edo, Edo State, uh, in the colonial days of Nigeria. He obtained his secondary school education in Benin, uh, St. Gregory College, Lagos. And um, he's one very special um, musician. He went further. He, he studied graphics art in um, the Yaba College of Technology, Lagos, uh, graduated at a very young age, and received his bachelor in degree, um, first honor at 54. So, uh, and that was from the University of Benin in 19, 1997. He, he did a lot. He did a lot. Victor Waifo has done a lot. Um, he, he has he did his thesis for his PhD architectural uh, sculpture, uh, which was titled "The Reinvention of the Bini Royal Essential Piece." Um, Victor Waifo did a lot musically. Completed his studies, played and played. He played with Osita Osadebe. He played with Fred Coca. He formed his own um, melody group. His band released Jeremy. They made other uh, uh, version of the song Jeremy, you know, and um, a lot, a lot about Victor Waifu, a lot. Um, let me give it to you, sir, Dr. Sita, Victor Waifu, Victor Waifu. Thank you, thank you. This is this was the man that set the scene for for everything you know about the the growth of music in Nigeria, growth of music because he was twenty two. When he graduated from Yaba College of Tech, but before then he had started playing. But look at this, look at what he did. He he waited until he played for 30 years plus. Within the 30 years, he has done everything about music. He has won all the awards. As a matter of fact, when you ask Victor Wire for one question about one of his records, he connects it with another one because for him, music writing was a continuous process. So after all of that, after all of that, the man went back to school. He had finished with, with, with his, with his uh, HND program at, uh, at the Yama College of Tech, waited for 30 something years you know, you know, you know, to go by, and then started school again. He came back in, to University of Benin. Then I, I was in broadcasting, and he was always there in, uh, as, our, uh, as our guest. There is, there is no time you bring the wife to the studios interview him about whatever you are talking about under the sun that he wouldn't give you a classic response. So this beautiful man used his guitar to rule the world. He, he had, I mean, he invented his own guitar. The man had, had a double stringed guitar and he played on both strings at the same time. And they were rolling under his waist. You know, you need to sit with the wife on stage. He was, he was a showboy extraordinary. He was he was a musician. He, he, he was the best songwriter that ever you know you know came came through. He then Bendel and then Edo State and so on and so forth. As a teacher, people rushed to attend his class. When when he stands in front of his class in university, people will be writing with, with their with their mouth again because he never taught from any book. He wrote his own lectures. He prepared his lectures from his experiences. Nothing could be better than that. Nothing. He was an artist. 
He was a physical um, uh, artist, he was a sculptor, and he was a musician. So he was a physical artist and a performing artist. And then there is nothing about music anywhere in the world that you can talk to Victor Wife about, and he doesn't give you, you know, the original, excellent, intelligent answer. He knew everything about music. And then he was rich. Victor Wife was a businessman. Apart from the Broadway cinema in Benin City, he, all, he owned the, the other cinema. It was in his cinema house that I watched The Godfather for the first time. I never forget it. Mm. I never forget it. The day I watched, I came home and I was creepy. The Godfather, uh, Cologne, and so on and so forth. But wife brought differences, changes, and he was, you know, very revered. He was, he was uh, guest at, at, at the palace. He, 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 was, he, was, he was the man who made things happen. And then they recognized him and made him a commissioner, the first ever for arts and culture. There, is, there was no state then that had ever appointed a commission for arts and culture. And the man went up in, you know, to, 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 in, to a PhD. Come on, mm. what else? You know, it's one, you know, a young boy from Arawele High School in Benin City to, uh, to uh, Lagos, where he continued from his high school, went and read, uh, and read uh, art, fine art in um, Yaba College of Tech, and then you know, started ruling his world. Later, that is something years after, he returned to college, earned his first degree, earned his master's degree, and earned his PhD, and he was still playing. So, so when he passed on, I called some of my colleagues. This is it. Nostalgia looks back at Rex Lawson, Victor Waifu, and now let's come to the, the, the man of the hour, another great man, another great man. Uh, let, let me, let's also take note that Victor Waifu had 12 golden um, uh, records to date, and he traveled around the world, United States, Russia, Japan, France, everywhere. Um, also, let's take note that uh, Victor Waifu has a National Honor Merit Award uh, in Nigeria, and um, he's uh, he has he was appointed as a member of the Order of the Niger, and enjoys a lot of privileges with that. Uh, sadly, Victor Waifu passed on, but his legacy lives on. Victor Waifu, thank you very much, Dr. Sita. Thank you for giving those tidbits. Um, we are we are moving on. We 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 come in. We take our time and we slide out. And uh, we give the fact, we give the punchline. So we're coming back to uh, the very last uh, um, art, uh, uh, nostalgia artist we're looking. And that's the great man, Sonny Okosu. Sonny Okosu. Sonny Okosu. Let, let, let's uh, sit back and uh, listen to this song by Sonny Okosu. Ah, yeah, that's Sonny Okosu. Sonny Okosu, born 1947 and passed away in 2008, was a Nigerian musician, also known as the leader of the Ozidi Band. Ozidi Band, Sonny Okosu's um, uh, music was also very, very, very creative and special. 
His band reigned in the eight, from the 70s to the 80s, and uh, he had this uh, synthesizer, synthesizer in his uh, beat. He was mixing both Afrobeat, reggae, funk, and um, he used his song also to, to, to make protests back in the days, Pan-African uh, protest freedom and other social political issues that was affecting Africa then. As a young man, Sonia Koso um, started his childhood with his grandmother in Irua, Edo State. Edo State is uh, the south-south of Nigeria. He moved to Enugu, where he lived with his parents. And uh, back then, the father worked in the railway corporation. That made him enroll in um, the, the center of the city, uh, where he started with the, uh, to complete his studies. Uh, he, that also made him dive into entertainment, which now made him go to Lagos. In Lagos, he was able to join a drama school in Sulere, and uh, he was properly known for some roles in some major movies back then in um, uh, a, a, a program, an English drama titled Professor John Equerry. You know, um, he did some sketch also on radio and TV in the then Eastern Nigerian television. And uh, Sonny Okosu went far with his music, Ozidi. Sadly, uh, Sonny Okosu died at the age of 61 from colon cancer uh, in America. And he was buried right there in his house, um, Yaya Bata Street in Lagos, Ogba. Uh, Sonny Okoso was, he sang in all, all languages too, Asian, Igbo, Yoruba, Hausa, English, and was known for some good songs. Papa's Land, Fire in Soweto, Mother and Child, the one we just heard, Which Way Nigeria, Liberation, and all the, all the songs. Dr. Osita, Sonny Okoso. Sonny died at 61. Yeah. Well, we remember him as um, a young boy of 16 because he was yeah. all, all over the place with us. My childhood friend, Mike Ebeye, was Sonny's personal friend. So the privilege I had being Mike Ebeye's friend was that we walked on stage with Sonny Okosu, following him behind. You know what that meant? Following mm -hmm. the, the guitar the legend of the season. Yeah, you know, you know, such legendary you can't drop behind. Because if you sit with Sonny Okosun and you are discussing something in Igbo, you forget his essence. If you are discussing something in Yoruba, you forget his essence. You know, that is that is his, his depth in languages. He he knew what to say, even in idioms and proverbs and axioms. You know, he knew he, he knew to that point. So when he wrote his songs in Igbo in house and Yoruba, whatever, and you listen to them, he is talking to the grassroots, the owners of the language. The so person was magic. His state camaraderie, you know, was something else. Because he was a dancer, he was, he, you know, he, he, he was a dramatist, and he was an instrumentalist. And then he hmm. had this voice synchronicity with, you know, with his backup singers that when he stopped singing, and you hear the backup singer sing, you know when he will join again. No, he had a, he was a master. And then he had respect for other musicians. That was very okay. unique about him. He, when you see him sit down and listen to other musicians play, you will be asking yourself, is, is that not Sonny Okosun? I mean, you'll be saying, why is he doing that? But that is the way he respects his art. That I, is the I, way I like, he respects I, I like, I like this you said. I like this you said, Doc. Because um, yes. I saw, yes, that was him. I saw, I saw him. You know, he 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 tutor, he mentored on under um, Victor Waifo, and um, oh he, yeah, he also, oh yes, he, he, yes. He, 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 with, with the Waifo so much. Yes, yes, yes. yes. So, so but, but, but he, 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 there was this very loyal and um, very you know um, respectful way he treated. He went with Victor Waifo. You know, you know, if it were yes. today. Yeah. Artists, uh, since I can also play the guitar like you play, I can blow the sax and do everything like you do. I mean, why do I give you respect? That's how that's their mentality. Doc, is that not true? You know, respect and um, yeah, uh, yeah. That, yeah, and then and then Sonny had this non 
Uh, but none arrogance about him. He was just a simple young that, man growing word. up and, en and enjoyed what he was doing. He enjoyed music so much. As a matter that's of fact, he will just, he'll be telling a story and start singing from there. And when you listen again, he's, he's written a song from there. <laughs> that, that was him. You can actually be be in a you know in a in, in an environment with him one day, the next day, that whole conversation becomes a song, and then he will link it to all the folklore that he knew in Asian language, in Edo language, in Igbo language, Yoruba language. So every time you sit with him, he was this philosopher, you know, creating music from everything, and he read a lot. That man had time to study. So you can imagine the kind of privileges, yes. The kind of privilege that, that, that he brought to his world. So when people who know him so well sit around other people and talk about him, you 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 wonder how they get to know so much about him. Because he was busy, but not too busy for his friends. That's that was him. He was a very busy man, very busy man. He was busy with his family, you know, with his art, music, art, and then with his friends. He lived a very purposeful life. And by the end of the day, we still remember him because he, his legacy was friendship and non adulterated in relationships. If you knew Sonny Okosun, you knew him for life. That was his gift into his world. And his music was just secondary. It came like that. And it became something that we all respected so very much. Wow. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. you, you you've, yes. nailed, you've put it again, oh, you put it again. Uh, sorry for that. So what what what, no, what, what have, yes 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 power just just disappeared here. No, it's I'm okay. Sorry. It's all part of mm -hmm. it. Huh? Now now what, what, one thing we at every of our nostalgia let, let, we bring out something. We you did that last time with the ladies and it went viral. I must say. Now today's own um, um, note, more like a note or more like a, an observation point is the fact that these great men were not just. Uh, talented with their voices and skill, but they had good behavior. They had, they, had, they had good PR with people. They were able to connect with, with people, fellow associates, um, you know, in the business field, and they, 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 they carried themselves gracefully. And also the, the humility upon that grace, upon their skill, their, what they had in them, they still were humble. We just talked about Sonny Okoso. Same for um, uh, Victor Waifu. Victor Waifu. Kamal Reggie Lawson, yes. And then same yes. for Sir Victor Waifu. So, so um, great guys, great, great spirit, and amazing musicians, yes. Amazing, amazing musicians. musicians. So, so we need to yeah. imbibe this culture. We need to really keep, uh, get into those things, those beautiful things they had. They had wonderful characters, wonderful potential, wonderful... Uh, way of going about and that's why their, their act lasted for long even though um like and still Rex last Austin, now yes and still last yes. you know they are still, still on last. you know they live on you know in, in, you know with their music mm, this is good thank you very much so on this note of dr sita do you have a note too do you have an observation point on nostalgia today is there something you want to say like you normally do yes yes i want to beg you know, that for us to have stayed together, building on our diversity through music, let's keep celebrating it. Because that's all we have. There, there is it again. Another bombshell. <laughs> yes. Another bombshell. We build Thank on, you our, very much. On, on, on our diversity. Let's keep celebrating it. Thank, Thank you. you very much. On this note, ladies and gentlemen, friends, audience all around the world, uh, Nostalgia 11. We have looked back at Rex Lawson, Victor Waifo, and Sonny Okoso. We'll be coming your way next week again with more good um, um, vintage legends, divas, and wonderful people that use their skill, the musical skill, skill to, to create something for us to enjoy till today. So thank you very much, Dr. Sita, till we come next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>